Hello, boys and girls. You wonder what's going on? I have a new fish bowl, but there's no fish. So that's why today I have a fishing pole. I will go on adventures around the ocean and see if I can find the right fish for my brand new fish bowl. But where should I go? Hmm. I found a story that's called Commotion in the Ocean, written by Giles Andre and by David Vujtovic, brought to us by Scholastic. Let's see if I can find the right fish for my fish bowl over there. Listen up. Commotion in the ocean. Whoa, lots of bubbles. Quite of dark water. It might be very deep. Hmm, maybe I need a scuba diving outfit to go down. What do you think? Yeah, they wear goggles, right? Special glasses and the tank so they can breathe. Let's see. Commotion in the ocean. There is a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You will find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea, swimming through the pages of this book. <gasps> uh oh, I think this is the book for, for us, don't you think? There are dolphins, whales, penguins, there are jellyfish and sharks. <gasps> There's a turtle and a big white polar bear. But can you see behind the rocks and between the rocks? Let's take a look and find out who is hiding behind them. Let's see. Hmm. I think I can find someone that will be very special for me. Help me out, boys and girls. Look, first is a crab. The crab likes walking sideways. I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he is a spy. Do I need him in my fish tank? Hmm. What if he's going to spy on me? Yeah, let's find out. Maybe different animal will be different, will be better. Turtles will crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch, they scramble about in the sand. Turtle, it's not a good idea, right? Because he goes back and forth from the water to the sand to lay eggs and the little turtles are going swimming. I don't think they will like to be in the fishbowl, do you think? No, I don't think so either. No, 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 we need to look for someone else. Ooh, that's a great idea. Angel fish, ooh. Hello, I'm the angel fish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame that there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Huh? I like different fish too. Hello. Should I get angel fish? Hmm. Let's find out. Maybe, maybe somebody else. Ooh, jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which with which other fish think is quite dumb. Uh oh. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling is a lot of good fun. I think jellyfish is funny, don't you think? They jiggle and wiggle and do a lot of, lot of funny things. Maybe I should get the jellyfish or maybe not. Whoa, shark, I swim with the grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. Whoa, that's scary. Should I get the shark? Nah, the shark actually will bite us, right? But did you hear him saying, come closer? Oh no, that's not a good idea. No, no, no. <gasps> Swordfish, oh, with the funny nose, maybe. That's the fish I like. I love to chase other small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And when then I start when, and then when I start feeling hungry, I screw a few on my sword. <gasps> oh no, oh no, 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 no. That's too scary. Mm -mm. Octopus, having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children 
and tickle each one on the tummy. <gasps> I think I like octopus. Remember like in the classroom, you're always asking me, Miss Martha, Miss Martha, I need help. I need this, I need that. And we always laugh that Miss Martha has two hands and she's not an octopus. Maybe I should get one and the octopus can be my helper. What do you think? I think it would be awesome idea. Hmm, I think that's the fish for me. I think that's the creature for me. Uh-oh. Stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stinks. Uh-oh. It stinks. I don't want that one. <gasps> lobster. Never shake hands with the lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With the clippity-clap and snappity-snap, he would snip all your fingers or two. No, too dangerous, both of them. Mm -mm. They look cute, but no thank you. Deep sea, miles below the surface, where the waters dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all description of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and the great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have a glowing whiskers on their chins. Uh oh I think they're quite funny. I think I like that one. He has a good smile. That one looks grumpy, don't you think? Hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, we also by the ocean have walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We are grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we are mighty and strong. Nah, but they're grumpy. No, thank you. Uh-uh, I like happy happy ones, right? So, here is the whole commotion with what a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea, what a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. Uh-oh, and some might want to swim around with, with you. The dolphins are very friendly, the lobster is very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name other friends? Can we make them a long way? What do you think? Well, I still think I need to go fishing. I still have to find the perfect fish for my tank, but I have two stories for you to show you. Because if I want a fish, what color my fish should be? Well, I wanted octopus, but maybe the fish will be better. Who else lives in the ocean? There's also a coral reef. Look. In the ocean, you can see everything. Look at those beautiful, look. There's a scuba diver going deep into the water, swimming to see everything. We can see blue colors and the blue stripes on the fish. Do you like that fish? I really do. Maybe I should get that one? Hmm. What do you think? Let's see. We can also see a yellow color and yellow spots on the starfish. You see it? Beautiful. Or orange, an orange striped fish. See, there's a lot of them. Or purple in the fish with the purple spots. There you go. Or maybe we can do green. And the fish with the green stripes. Look around and pick the one that you like the best. And all of them, they live in the coral reef. But I heard another commotion nearby me. And the rest of the fish 
just run away because there's a story about sharks, big sharks. <gasps> Should I even hold the book? Do you think they're dangerous? Look, yes, they are. Let's find out what is this story about. Most fish, let's le learn about fish. Most fish have bones, but shark skeletons are made of cartilage instead. Cartilage is so strong, but a little bit softer than bone. His flexibility helps sharks hunt be because they can move easily through the water. See, that's why now we know why sharks are very, very fast. <gasps> Uh-oh. Do you remember when we learned about five senses? Sharks have super senses to help them hunt. <gasps> they can hear very low sounds like swimming and splashing underwater. They can even feel the movement of its prey. See, this is teeny tiny shark's ear. Can you see it? Isn't it amazing? <gasps> Uh-oh. Whoa, sharks have a lot of teeth. Their teeth are in layers. So if any tooth breaks off, the new one can take its place right away. Certain sharks can have up to 4,000 teeth at a, at a time, but only the front is used, the front row is used for eating. I know Julian, you know all of all everything about sharks. We were talking about it the other day, right? You guys are super smart. Almost all sharks have skin that feels like sandpaper. Instead of fish scales, sharks have skin made of denticles. They feel like sharp, hard teeth. The shark's rough skin protects them from getting hurt. See, here they are. That's how his skin looks like. See it? Very good. Ooh, we learned so much about those sharks today. The shark fin mako is the fastest shark on the planet. It can reach speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. That's a very, very, very fast shark. I cannot even bike that fast. No way. The largest shark is a whale shark. A whale shark can measure up to 60 feet long, making it the biggest fish in the ocean. You see it? Here's the scuba diver trying to learn about him as well. Take a picture so others can see it. <gasps> the deep water godfish is one of the world, world's smallest shark. Found in the Caribbean Sea, it grows to be about eight inches long. It's not that much, isn't it? There you go. He looks kind of nice. Uh-oh, this one is called Nurse shark. Nurse, nurse sharks are bottom dwellers. They live in the warm water and they move very slowly. And they have, not like other sharks, very smooth skin. They look a little bit different. Okay. And now we have hammerhead herd, herd, uh, shark. A hammerhead shark's specially shaped head gives it better senses for hunting. They also use their white heads to pin their prey in the ocean floor. They look very scary, don't you think? I think so too. I am a little bit afraid of them. Uh-oh. Here we have also tiger sharks get their name from the dark stripes that they have when they are young. As they grow older, the stripes fade. Tiger sharks will eat anything they find. So they are known as the waste baskets of the sea. See, they can eat everything, all the garbage from the sea. Uh-oh, look at that. Sharks are very fascinating fish. We know about 400 different kinds of sharks swimming in the oceans and scientists are still finding more. Who knows? What other types of amazing sharks are waiting to be discovered? So you see, besides the coral reef and fish that we learn about, we also read the story about the sharks. 
But guess what? My fish tank is still empty. What should I pick? Hmm, I really don't know. Can you help me out, boys and girls? I have an idea. In your homework packet, you will have a lot of pages with whales, with different fish, with crab and turtle in sea and uh, sea turtle, sharks, corals, lobsters. Please color them and then maybe you can help me what kind of fish I would like to put in my, uh, my fish tank. Also, in your pocket, you will find your fish tank. Please color it, cut the middle out. If you put any kind of plastic, actually, you will be able to see your fish when you make one. Let me show you. And put one. Oh, fish, come over. Sorry, 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 sorry and put one behind this one is too big right but that silly shark will be just right you can put if you don't have a plastic ask mom to give you a baking cooking sheet or foil and then you can put it on the behind from the behind you can do it from the behind and then you can use it as well so maybe you can help me but now i'm still searching for one should i go fishing let me try. Well, oh, look, I found a crab. Should I have him? Look, 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 look. Will he look nice? Yeah, but didn't we learn that he walks backwards and nah, nah, maybe not. I'm going to leave him in the ocean. Oh, 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 let me fish one. Oh, look, look what I got. I have the one with the yellow and blue stripes. I kind of like this one. I think it will look nice. Don't you think, boys and girls? I think so too. So maybe that one. Hmm. For now, I'm going to put the fish in the water. Let her swim, let the fish swim a little bit. Let me find out maybe I can find. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Oh, I have two of them. Two of them at the same time. Awesome. So I have a seahorse. They look kind of funny. Hmm, but he's very happy. Maybe I can pick seahorse? Well, for now I'm going to leave him in my ocean. Ooh, and then I had the green one. But I don't know if this one is actually nice or, or mean. Do you remember from our story? Would this one be nice or mean or happy? I don't know. You help me out for now. Go back to the ocean. Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, yay! I found one. I found one and I have a starfish. Starfish is super happy. I think I will pick starfish. I think that would be mine. Well, but what about an octopus? I really wanted the octopus. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, the starfish will go. Now let's see what else I can find. Oh, oh, here we, ooh, look, 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 look. I have two of them. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, oh no, swordfish. No, 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 absolutely not. Go back to the ocean. I am afraid that this one is actually going to hurt me, but there was one more, look. I got the octopus. But look at his face. Do I need one that's grumpy? Huh, are you grumpy or nice one? He pretends he's a pirate? I'm not quite sure about him. What do you think, boys and girls? Should I keep him? Well, for now, I put him back in the water because I'm not, I'm not really, really sure about that. Maybe I should continue, continue fishing. Also, in your homework, boys and girls, when you go fishing for your fit, your favorite ones, you're going to complete the page with the tail and then with the fish on the bottom. Please make sure connect the lines for waves, color it nicely. So there will be one activity and then we have one more. Connect the lines and then guess what? Take scissors and cut it. Let's see if you can cut on mine. But still, my problem is not solved. I still have no fish. 
the tank tank is empty i really don't know what to do please help me make your own tank figure it out which fish is was your favorite from the ones that we were just learning about and share your ideas with me i kind of still want the octopus but i don't know if he's going to behave very well so it's between the octopus or maybe a starfish i think the starfish is the happiest of all and that could be our winner don't you think but i also well shark julian you think i should get a shark but 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 no i'm afraid well i also found a story that's called the three little fish and a bad big shark should we read it well we read about the other sharks maybe this one is is he really bad let's find out the story was written by julia gorton let's listen the three little fish and the bad big shark let's find out maybe i can find the fish i like here once upon a time they lived a mama fish and three little fish jim tim and kim it is now time said the mama for each of you to make home in the deep blue sea so off they went oh they're going to make their houses now let's see maybe they will help me find the perfect one the fish first the little fish named jim swam away and met a seahorse playing in some seaweed can i have some of the seaweed so i can build a house take as much as you can carry said the seahorse jim gathered the seaweed and made a wee little house see he made a house for himself it does look nice don't you think i think so too let's see if it's going to work out for him <gasps> Jim had just finished building his seaweed house when he heard the big bad shark knocking at the door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. The little fish trembled and replied, Not by the skin on my finny fin fin. Then I will munch and I will crunch and i will smash your house said the shark <gasps> oh no let's see so the big bad shark munched and he crunched and he ate up every bee bit of seaweed house and jim swam away just in time see Poor fish has no house now. Oh, yo, yo. How about his other siblings? Soon, Jim found his brother. Tim said, don't worry, Jim. We have fish stick together. <laughs> That's a cute, cute one. You can help me build a sandy, sandy little house. So now they're making house out of sand. Do you think this one is going to work very well for them? Let's find out. Are they going to keep Shark away? Jim and Tim had just started to relax in the sandy little house when the big bad Shark came knocking at the door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the brave little fish replied, not by the skin on my finny fin fin then i will munch and i will crunch and i will smash your house in roared the shark oh no look so the bad big shark munched and crunched until he got a sandy mouthful and the house crumbled jim and tim swam and swam see 
they were able to escape, but that shark is not the nicest shark ever. Until they reached their sister, Kim, their sister Kim. Kim was setting up her house in an old wooden ship. The big bad, big bad shark destroyed our houses. Don't worry, you can live with me, said Kim. And they did. Do you think shark is going to go after them? Let's find out. The three little fish had just finished lunch when they had heard the big bad, bad shark knocking at their door. Little fish, little fish, let me come in. To which the smart fish replied, not by the skin on my finny fin fin. Then I will munch and I will crunch and I will smash your house, roared the shark. Do you think he can break it? What do you think? Let's find out. The big, big bad shark munched and crunched, but he could not smash the house in. And all of his teeth fell out. And how many did he have, boys and girls? Do you remember from the other story? He has none right now. The three little fish were safe at least. And what is the shark eating now? Seaweed. And he is very nice now, right? There you go. The and they were all swimming nicely in the ocean. But we're back to Miss Martha's fish tank and then she still has nothing. So I think we will all have to think about which fish will be the best for our fish tank. Please do your job. Help me find one to make your fish tank or your ocean. And when I see you during Zoom class, you will tell me which one I should get. I still think that starfish looks very cool. Hmm. That octopus, still debating. Do you think I can make him smile? Can he be nice? Oh, but how about the horse fish? Hmm. I really don't know. But for now, on boys and girls, I think I will have to go fishing again. And you too, do your job. Do your work, do your homework, find the best one, and I will see you very soon, okay? Let's go fishing or let's go swimming, let's go swimming.